Hello, I'm Tina from Embraced in Comfort. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about how you can prevent holes in your t-shirts. Let's take a look at a brace that was made for my daughter. The orthotist used a material called Alliplast. It's a soft cushiony material that they often use on the inside of braces. He put it around the hard plastic of the armpit so that it almost created a lip around there which helps to prevent holes and also helps keep your armpit more comfortable. And he would also adhere a strip of it along the bottom and up around the edge so that there wasn't any plastic being pressed against my child's clothing or whether it be a t-shirt or whether it be outerwear. If this edge rubs against the shirt or the piece of clothing, it may form holes. Any place on the brace that is raw edge plastic has a tendency to create a hole. So it's important to consider where those main stress points are and take measures to cover them with something soft to prevent the holes. Other stress points include edges of this hook and loop tape. This is very coarse and if it touches a shirt, which could happen if your child does this, or an outer shirt over top of it could form a hole from rubbing against this. There's a couple other ideas that I have that may help prevent holes. First is an item called Freycheck. Comes in this little bottle, and you can get it from any retailer that sells sewing supplies. Freycheck is a thin chemical substance that can be dotted onto fabric. It will stop holes from getting bigger. It will stop fraying on a material that would fray. These t-shirts will not fray. If a hole forms in the shirt, it's a knit. It might get bigger over time, but it's not going to fray and completely fall apart. If a hole is starting to form, or if there is an area that you see is starting to show wear, you can rub some of this fray check in and it will add some durability. It should last for several washes and then you can just reapply it if you notice that area starting to fray again. Something else that I have done with my children's braces when we weren't able to get to their orthotist to have it covered in Alliplast, I would take a thin neoprene and I would apply it over the edge of the brace. You can get patterns, you can get colors, and then I would use a duct tape. I like Gorilla Tape. It's very strong. However, you can get many different colors and patterns that your children may enjoy on their brace and use that to adhere this piece of material over the edge. This will create a cushion and keep holes from forming where the brace hits the shirt. Another area of high likelihood, as I've mentioned before, is this hook and loop tape. You could take a piece of whatever duct tape and just put a little bit over the edge of that strap. Now let's say you don't have access to neoprene. Neoprene can be purchased online. Various websites will sell it to you many times in larger sheets. It's not inexpensive, however. If you contact me, I can also send you a cut of neoprene with your next order or as a separate order from the stock that I have here. However, if you have an old laptop case or if you find an inexpensive laptop case, you might use that. Sometimes we have koozies, drink koozies laying around at home that we don't have a good use for anymore. You could cut this and use it to wrap around and pad the brace. Get creative looking around your home to see what you might be able to use to soften some of these main contact points. One of the most common ways that people like to wear their t-shirt is by wrapping it up and over the bottom of the brace. As you can see, there are a few points here that may be susceptible to forming holes. One is here at this hook and loop tape. The edges of that can be a little bit sharp and over time they can wear on your shirt. 
one of the largest areas of concern is back along the edge of this plastic. As your child sits and gets up from hard chairs all day long, as this rubs on the inside of the pants, and although it feels smooth, over time, that additional friction can make it susceptible to holes. So those are the places that you're going to want to treat with some sort of covering along the edge to really pad the area and prevent wear and tear. These tips will go a long way in helping you to reduce the long-term wear and tear on your Embracing Comfort t-shirts. We wish you the best on this part of your scoliosis journey. And as always, we're here for you should you need our help.